Okay, so um, I'm going to run through uh, Cam Assist uh, with you guys. At the moment, what I've done is created uh, a fairly simple part with <coughs> um, your logo okay. on um, and has multiple features like internal, external fillets, holes, chamfers, uh, multi-level pockets. Um, so what I've done is I've set up my Operation 1 and my Operation 2 uh, to be able to complete the part successfully. Uh, and up here we have our plugin, which we, is called Cam Assist. So if I open the plugin <coughs> uh, on the UI on the first page, we can actually specify um, the tool library that we want to use for this specific part. Um, and currently, I have uh, these 77 tools within the machine now. So I've chosen this, and I've chosen the material that I want to machine as well. Um, and we can actually choose what setups we want to run this on. So currently, I want to run on both operations. Um, here we have uh, uh, we can the tools that I've actually chosen. It will run through these and say, look, what ones are compatible with Cam Assist. We also have a feature flag as well in a finishing area, which we can actually use to onboard our own speeds and feeds as well. So um, for instance, in your tool library, if you haven't specified your speeds and feeds, we will actually generate them for you for all your tools. Here we can specify what operations we like to run as well. So uh, face milling, roughing, finishing, hole making, etc. Uh, here we can specify the amount of material we want to leave them for finishing. So for me, I'm gonna choose um, 0.15 and then we have work holding security so we can change this if like the, the setup isn't so rigid uh, the parts hanging off so much um, by reducing that it will reduce the sizes of the like tool diameters to to reduce that uh, like actual loads and stuff on the part um, and in here we can specify the type of uh, <clears throat> freeform finishing we like to like to use as well uh, once i'm happy with my setup i literally just press run and it will generate all my tool paths for me for for the part as you can see these generating here so we put them into folders as well so they can easily be found uh, for each individual um, process um, so that's generated. So now these toolpaths have been created, I can actually go into these toolpaths uh, and manipulate them if I want to. So I could like remove the fin flat finishing on this face. Also within Cam Assist, uh, you can do feature based as well. So you know if you had a casting, for instance, you have one feature on there, you can just say, look, I only want this feature to be machined or this hole to be yeah. done. So if I simulate this, it should, in theory, machine the full part to finish. So we've got roughing tool paths. Finishing. And then it will start to work on the free form. Yeah, scanning those fillets in with a bullet mill and a ball nose. Uh, as you can see, it's completed those tool paths as well with a face mill and then a chamfer tool to finish off. So once once that's done, so now I can just export this, say like post-processor, and I'll throw this into our network folder, which is connected to the machine. Right, there we go. So what we do is now I'll go outside and then show, show me running this on the machine, if you don't mind. <laughs> 